Just about an hour, parents and students are expected to uh, meet and gather at Mountain View High School to learn about the dangers of vaping. This after the country and much of the Treasure Valley has seen an uptick when it comes to teenagers vaping. KTVB Sharon Matsuzawa is live in Meridian with what's behind that uptick and why vaping is so dangerous. Indeed, that meeting kicks off at 6 o'clock tonight and it's really a time for parents to learn and discuss the dangers of vaping, but also what to look for. It's a big problem everywhere. It's not just here. From the different designs to the different flavors, vaping may appear harmless, but when it comes to teens, that scented smoke is filled with hidden dangers. There's tons of chemicals in vapes that do damage to the lungs and uh, nicotine is in vape, which is incredibly addictive. And that's not something we want our kids to start doing at 13, 14 years old. In Meridian, the city saw citations for tobacco violations, which included vapes double from 2017 to 2018. So it might start out as something fun, but it's very easy um, and too late sometimes to stop before you have become physically addicted. It's a problem Meridian Police School Resource Officer Bob Allison sees on a daily basis. Just at the school that I cover, we're pretty close to 100 violations. Uh, for the school year. In fact, Officer Allison issued a citation to a student just before meeting with us. Within the last two, two and a half years, uh, vaping is definitely, uh, the, the issue has gotten a lot bigger. Part of the issue, kids thinks, it, thinks that it's cool, and also the companies are targeting uh, our kids by the different flavors that they're providing in the vapes. The appeal is also in the design. They design these things to be appealing to young people, look like technology, look like something that can be concealed, and that's part of it too, is to conceal it, to hide it. There's hoodies that they make with the, the pipes in the string, so they can just use that and it just looks like they're sucking on the hoodie string. And sometimes those designs can be tough to determine what's inside of the vape. So school resource officers are now using THC swab kits to find out. They're unique in that with the different vaping devices, it can be hard to actually test the material that's being vaped. So we're finding that not only um, are high levels of nicotine in the vapes being found, but uh, THC is very prevalent as well. Now, over the years, smoking rates have also declined, but the experts we spoke with today say that they've actually seen those rates increase now or start to rise because teens who are vaping are more likely now to switch to cigarettes later on. Meantime, there will be another educational meeting at Columbia High School uh, tomorrow night. Dee? Well, I, I know they hope parents will turn out and students too so that they can be educated, know what they're dealing with here. Thanks, Shira. Mm -hmm.